Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Tacom's 172nd. Yes, 172nd, not 48th, not 35th, 172nd, Chieftain Mark 11, Mark 10 combo set, okay? So because these are ickle, okay, what we've got is two in one kit, which actually makes it very, very nice indeed. So in the box art, we can see, and I've done this, the big brother of this, uh, in the actual Berlin scheme. You might remember that as a full video build. So we've actually done it in 135th, and I absolutely loved the build. It was very much, much a breath of fresh air. It was one of those kits that just seemed to fall together, no real problems all the way through, and thoroughly enjoyed the entire build. So again, seeing as we're looking at smaller kits this week, 72nd Chieftain again, this is one of those scales which is absolutely gorgeous uh, in the scales, what I call palm of the hand uh, type size, and they are fantastic. Anyway, enough of the waffle. Down as you can see, two complete kits. Remember that one, so it is a one plus one, uh, not a two in one box, or whichever way that would work. Okay, anyway, as you can see, we've got down here the Mark 10, Mark 11 ones, uh, and obviously we've got the Berlin scheme, as you can see down in here, or well, we've got the Canadian one over here. Running around on the box, you can see this one. So your kit number for this one is 5006. And then, as you can see, all the sprues that are down there. And to be honest, it does have quite a bit of heft to it. So let's have a look for the reason for that heft, okay. Um, so what we're gonna get is two complete kits down in here. So it's gonna be duplicate sprues all over the place. As you can see down in there, we've actually got the turrets, okay. Track set. And we've got two holes and everything. So I thought they might just do them as separates, but clearly they don't. And this is the reason for the weight. What we've got is quite a nice book, but also as you can see down here, a good old chunk of photo etch as well for the actual side skirts, which is actually quite a nice touch. Because again, from a scale point of view, I think that's where it will be lacking. So let's start down in here. Okay, so we've got bag for decals. We've got this photo etch, as you can see down in here, and it's laminated as well, keep it all nice and safe. Okay, so. A mini booklet as well compared to the other one, but it's probably exactly the same way of going through. So usual thing with the assembly guide, hull, gears, obviously running gears, tracks. So we've got the link and length uh, type tracks down in here as well. It makes it nice and straightforward going together. Looking at it, it looks like the detail is exactly the same as that was on its big brother. And again, it looks like they've shrunk it. Um, beautifully done. Very nice. I'm trying to look for specific differences between this build and my build uh, of obviously the big brother and it can't really see any. It looks like it's a mini me. So bottom of the actual uh, hull work being done. One of the notable differences of course is the photo edge. Uh, so again to give it the correct scale effect we've got the plating on the side uh, done in brass so that's quite a nice touch. We've got the grills and the various bits and pieces up here which are still photo etch as well so that's really nice. Towing cables, things like that, stowage boxes, all the usual tools and equipment you might find going on. The turret on the top looks to be exactly like the bigger brother as well. Okay, so again, being those going together, all the stowage bins, the areas for this one, again, it's exactly the same with the photo etch and the various parts on the side. I remember putting mine together as well. It looks to be a literally a mini me version, which is great. Okay, obviously, the differences between the different versions of um, uh, 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 the actual chieftains out there do tend to have the different pod on the side here with that giant lamp and various things on there. So obviously that's going to be the part that's going to be fitted on there. I did use a tiny little bit of filler just down in there, just a smidge, just to take care of a tiny little gap, which actually I made. So that's that one on there. Stowage bins, all those items, again, photo etch and everything, which is exactly the same as the 35th scale one. All the bins being fitted down onto there and then the turrets going down on top. That looks fantastic. Same call outs as it was for the others as well. So as you can see, we've got the different marks, 11 markings down in there, just like that. And then obviously we've got the mark 10s. We've got the zombie scheme. And then obviously more mark 10s and there's the famous Berlin mark 10 down in there as well. I'm impressed because to be honest with you, I was really impressed with the 35th scale one and now they've just done a mini me version. So that's very, very clever indeed okay so looking around at the uh, photo etchy bits as you can see obviously it's dual paired very very nice indeed. it's quite thick i would say that's probably in scale so that's quite nice so obviously we get two of those and then we've actually got 
these as well. So obviously the different storage bins on the side here have got the different versions in it. Okay, so obviously we've got the Mark 10 and Mark 11 storage bins on the sides just like that. So again, very nice little bit of photo etch. Teeny tiny little bag for the decals. Okay, but those don't look too bad at all. Really nice, good, clean, crisp ones. So no problem with those at all. So that's very nice indeed. Right, let's get down into it. Let's start off with the turrets because these are tiny, tiny. Okay. So again, beautifully, beautifully done. Very nice, good, clean, crisp. And obviously to give you the sense of scale, <laughs> that's it. It's literally far behind. But again, really very, very nicely done. You've got all the details exactly as you would find on the other. There's a tiny little bit of flash on them, but actually you're being very picky on something so small as well, because obviously it needs to be a certain size to get it out of the mold, hence the ejector bin size just down in there. But you can see that's actually very, very nicely done indeed. So two of those, very nicely done. Okay, and then if we start working our way through the bag, which all been folded around about 8,000 times by the looks of it. <coughs> okay, so again, there's not a lot of point going to be going through these twice, so we'll do them once. So say upper hull, okay, looking absolutely fantastic, really very nice. Considering this has been shrunk down like this, nicely done as well. And again, good details and texture still on the bottom. No problem with that either. And then obviously underneath, not much going on in there, but obviously you'd be adding all of those. But actually, I have to say, that looks very, very nice indeed. Um, so I just don't know which way to go around these. Let's try this one. So again, it's all duplicate, so I'll just show one sprue. Okay, so this is sprue C and D. Uh, and as you can see, let's do it this way, it might be easier. There we go. Okay, you can see, very, very nice. Gun is one piece right the way through, so no problem there. All the parts on the other side. Again, really very, very nice indeed. Good, cleanly moulded, good crispness. No real flash on that sprue at all. So no problem with that as well. And again, they do this thing of offsetting the deburring because it's on a flatter type sprue like this, you see. So the burring line is over here. So that's quite nice as well. So sometimes it takes it off the part. Very, very nice. Okay, and then into here, which is wrapped around about nine times. Yeah, don't get in. They can't get in. So, slight differences with these. So as you can see down in here, we've got the stowage bin areas, okay? And then we've got E, which has then got the parts on here, just done like this. Again, good, nice, crisp, solid stuff. And then the bottom part, we've got the gun mantle, things like that there as well. Looks very, very nice, actually. Very, very clever. There's G on the other side. Okay, so beautifully done. Okay, and then last up, we've got all the running gear and the, the wheels and everything. And again, there's going to be multiple in here. So there's going to be four lots of B, we assume, because obviously it's on both sides with these ones. So as you can see, Still highly, highly detailed right the way through. Good, clean, crisp moulds on all of those. Not a little mark just down in those, but it's going to be up in the top. You're not going to see that anyway. Okay, and even the detail on the blind side, still just as nice, just as clean and crisp. And there you have it. I have to say, if you've been following us over the last literally few weeks, we've been doing a lot of small scale stuff. Been doing lots of big projects recently. We've reviewed lots of big kits, things like that. And then it's been nice to actually go back and do 70 second scale stuff. I'm currently working on a 70 second scale Hurricane, for instance. 
Again, when you're talking armour, it's not that big anyway in 35th. We're still within that one foot rule, as I call it, the 30 centimetre rule. Anything around that scale is usually quite nice, okay? We've seen 48 scale coming along by Tamiya, things like that as well, and other manufacturers doing those. But 72nd scale is still around in there. And again, we see some beautiful stuff by, you know, various companies, Fujami, stuff like that, have done very nice kits back in the day as well. But to have new tooled, or I'm imagining this is more retooled from the 35th scale one and being sort of shrunk down. Uh, obviously engineering things that go along doing that isn't as straightforward because obviously thinning of parts as well, you can only go so thin as well. So definitely done a fantastic job on that. Two kits as well, really, really nice in the box. So you can do both versions, the Mark 10 and the actual Mark 11 down in there. Different schemes, different things in a very nice small little package. Absolutely fantastic for little mini diorettes and dioramas, stuff like that. Again, what's not to love? So there we go, Tackham's 72nd scale, Chieftain.